What is up guys, Joe Snow right here and today Apple has released the iOS 10.2.1 beta 2. So if you're going right away into the um, general and then to the software update, you're going to see that if you're into the beta program that you have the public beta 2 of iOS 10.2.1, which is one gigabit 82 on this iPhone 6. Right, we're going to get into this beta and we're going to also discuss about important things about the jailbreaking and it's very important, so stay tuned with me. I'm going to start with the 10.2.1 public beta 2. Well, nothing really interesting that you should update for. Well, it basically contains things that were left behind when iOS 10.2 was released. Some uh, bugs on the TV application they released, some bugs on other things and so on. They're just patching a couple of things. Nothing that is visible for the end user, nothing you should update for. Very important. So, with this iOS 10.2.1 public beta 2, there is also an important change, but you can get the um, Apple uh, the Apple beta software program by going to the beta.apple.com and then you can download the uh, iOS 10.2 beta if you're not interested in the jailbreaking. But stay with me, if you're interested in jailbreak, we have something important to talk about. And I'm going to start with the fact that uh, iOS 10.1.1 is no longer signed. So for those of you who got my advice and downgraded and followed up my tutorials on how to downgrade, you will be okay when a jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1 will drop, which means probably in a couple of days. But for those of you who did not downgrade and are still on 10.2, today Apple has killed the iOS 10.1.1 signature window, therefore there is no way you can go back which means that unfortunately you won't be able to go back to iOS 10.1.1 or to um, any other version, for example, 10.1 or 10.0. Right, so what this means? This means that you can no longer go back using this tutorial that I made on December uh, 9th. So what can you do? Well, apparently you need to wait for the iOS 10.2 jailbreak if it will ever drop because as I said, you cannot downgrade, but if you're all already on the iOS 10.1.1, you should not update. Stay there, do not update, don't do anything that might ruin your iOS so that you need to restore. I don't know, just don't do anything. Stay on iOS 10.1.1 because it will be your last hope to jailbreak. Why I'm saying that? Well, today on uh, on Twitter, Hacker Luca Tedesco said that the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak will be the last jailbreak in a very, very long time. I don't know if he's trolling as he got us used to, but it might be all right. It might, it might be correct. So you better stay on 10.1.1 because it might be your last chance to jailbreak. I'm just saying what I heard. Right, so um, back in, um, in December 19, you got my tutorial for how to save the SHSH2 blobs. Well, now you can only save the iOS 10.2 blobs, which I don't think will be extremely useful, but you may want to go ahead and save them as well, because when iOS 10.2.1, for example, will drop, you will need to have your 10.2 blobs. What if you ever need to go back to 10.2 for a jailbreak? So just go ahead and save them. Right, so let's discuss a little bit about why it's important to be on the iOS 10.1.1. See, iOS 10.1.1 got already a couple of exploits and we're talking about the Google Project Zero. I covered that a couple of days ago, I think um, uh, seven days ago, a week ago. And uh, it, it is basically a bare bone jailbreak that you can use, that you can go ahead and install on your uh, Xcode and run on your phone and get access to the uh, applications, get access to the file system and so on. So it is a standalone jailbreak, but for devs, right? So what is important? Well, there are a couple of developers working right now on 10.1.1 full jailbreak that will work with Cydia and so on, which means that it will only work on 10.1.1. Check out this video right here that I made. It's in the description as well as in the cards if you want to get more about it. And if you're on 10.1.1, as I say, do not downgrade. The iOS 
beta 2 is not extremely important you shouldn't update there is no need for you to update and so to speak you shouldn't do that if you want a jailbreak right but there still might be hope for a 10.2 jailbreak by the way let me show you what i found 7 Ezer or Yonic or Ionic, depending on whatever you want to read this, uh, said today, I think, uh, yes, today he said that in the end, the iOS 10.1.1 signing window closing is not such a big deal, considering that the iOS 10.2 jailbreak is about to hit soon. What? Well, let's see what he is talking about. Well, somebody asked about this, iOS 10.2, who claimed it, and he said that he is not allowed to tell who because they don't want to be harassed. If you remember, a couple of days ago, uh, Luca Tedesco said he's going to, to try to make a uh, Tempo 1.1 jailbreak on top of the um, uh, Project Zero, of the exploits posted by um, Jan Beer from Google Project Zero. But everybody started to harass him to say uh, when at a jailbreak and when you're going to do that, when you're going to release, when you're going to publish the jailbreak, please release and so on. And he got pissed off and I would have done that as well, which, yeah, isn't very good. So people started to even, um, even threat him with the death if he's not releasing the jailbreaks. Well, to actually, uh, to actually threat somebody, somebody with the death, it's something very, very, very bad for a jailbreak community. How the hell you're, you're actually thinking that he's going to release a jailbreak if you actually say that you're going to kill him if he's not doing that? Well, people have gone extremely wrong. And that's why uh, Ionic says that he's not allowed to disclose whoever claimed that he's releasing the 10.2 jailbreak because he doesn't want to be harassed. But coming from Stefan Ezer, it might be a good source because as you can see at the first, it's verified, but the second, he is a known security researcher, right? He's not just a somebody from somewhere. He is known for uh, having a company that is um, Section Ains, which is focused on uh, security research and analysis and so on and reverse engineering, which is very important. He is a guy that knows what jailbreaking is. He's a guy that knows what iOS means. So coming from him, it is a good source. Right, so we might see an iOS 10.2 jailbreak soon, but we can't take it for granted. He might be trolling, who knows? Like look at the Desco, he might be trolling as well. Well, look at the Desco has a history of trolling. Actually, on his Twitter, he says that uh, if you have any dubs, assume he is trolling, right? So, but anyways, these day devs can be right. So we're just going to wait. Now, to conclude this video, do not update to 10.2.1 beta 2. It's nothing important. Do not even go to 10.2 for the TV application. There is no, there is no means you should risk a jailbreak for that little TV app. And also, if you're on 10.1.1 and you followed my advice two days ago to downgrade to 10.1.1, then stay there. There is a jailbreak upcoming, so stay there. Do not mess your device, do not restore, do not do a backup, do whatever you want, so do not go to 10.2, very important. And also, there might be a hope for 10.2 jailbreak, but we still don't know. Right, so this is it guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated the minute something happens on the jailbreaking community, and till the next time, give this video a thumb up, tell me in the comment section down below what you think about Stefan Ezzard's post, and peace out!